Hey, hey, my pretties. This Pretty Girl Designs by Tasha. I just came in here to show y'all the Spider-Man chairs, what I am creating. I had fell asleep earlier, so I have, so far today, I have done 19 baskets. That's pretty good, but that's not my normal place pace. I normally can do 40 in one day, but I've been lazy today. But that's besides the point. I think that this Spider-Man Easter basket came out really, really nice. All the stuff you see on here is clearance finds and some Dollar Tree finds. The uh, Spider-Man chairs are from my wholesale supplier, which are $3.99. At that time, when I purchased these uh, chairs over the summer, he only allowed you to get three at a time. And I went back the very next day to get more chairs, and they was all sold out. So I didn't able to get any more, but it's okay. So I got three Spider-Man, and I got three Disney Princess, and I got three Sophia's and three some other characters. So those are the ones that I'm going to be working with for this Easter season. But, of course, the candies was on clearance from Walmart in the multiple packs except these Welch's fruit punches these Welch's I had got I had got some from Dollar Tree in the beginning and then I went back to Walmart and got some and they had like 60 something in a pack for ten dollars so it was cheaper to get it that way these trolley uh candies I got these at my wholesale supplier which the box came with 18 in the pack and see these was 18 in a pack and these was five dollars and you only had a limited of getting three so i got three of them you know what i mean and i've been using these in some easter baskets as well i wish i would have went back today and got more but i didn't feel like doing nothing all righty this Spider-Man, this right here was Dollar Tree. I put this on a short. It was a lunch box. These right here is in a pre-made basket. I just opened it up and used the Spider-Man cup and the chalk out of that basket. What I'm putting in this chair because I needed something because it was missing a big gap. This Spider-Man tattoo set, I got this at Dollar Tree last year and I have not seen any more since you know, last year, but I have quite a few of these in my stockpile, so I just used it. Of course, this was 38 cents. I got the cotton candy from Dollar Tree for 125. This particular Spidey thing was a dollar fifty on the Dollar General clearance. This Spider Man ball bouncy thing i paid three dollars this uh on the dollar general clearance as well this was a dollar general clearance as well a sticker activity set and i paid like a dollar 27 or four for the clearance sale this one came from walgreens last summer so i don't remember what i paid for that right there because that was in my stockpile and this giant coloring book, you can get those at Dollar Tree, and it was $125. But I think that this Spider-Man Easter chair came out really, really nice. It looked good. Whatever little boy who get this, I hope he be happy, especially eating all these good snacks. I like to put snacks in the basket, what I know I'll eat. In my area, they're, they're big on candy. Like last year when I did a couple of baskets, just trying it out with the snacks, it didn't sell. So I had to open them up and add candy and then they went off. So that's the reason I, you see me using a lot of candy in my baskets. Uh, it's just Dallas, Texas. They give them kids sugary stuff and that's what they like. But it's okay. This Easter basket came out nice. Uh, So please like. Before I say that. Give the video a thumbs up. Share this video. Tell all your friends and stuff to come subscribe to this channel. Because I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. And I need your help on that. So, with that being said, please like, share, comment.
comment and subscribe hit that bell and y'all have a very good night bye